Hello everybody, it's Misen again. So here we come to the lesson two. So last time we have done the optical illusion drawing. So this time we are going to move on to the perspective drawing. So accordingly, uh, last time you should have tried the, the one point perspective by looking at the videotape. And this time we will have an online demonstration showing you how to do the two points perspective. So on your worksheets, so your assignment, you have to recap some of the main points in perspective drawing, like the vanishing point, VP, what we call in a short term, and we have horizon line, which is the eye level of a person. And then this time we have a advanced task, which you will use two points to draw the perspective or the three dimensional space. So what you have to do is easily, the materials that you need is just a A4 paper, a pencil, you may need a rubber, sometimes you may need a ruler to help you to draw some straight line, then it will be enough, okay? And uh, the next task you are going to do, you have to develop an imaginative city. So it will be good if you have some marker at home. So this kind of liner, so you can simply buy it in the stationery shop. So for my, it is 0 0.5, but I think 0 0.5, 0 0.3, those liner is also usable in this artwork. And then if you have some thicker marker, you can also buy some co Chinese calligraphy pen, stuff like that, in the stationery shop. Okay, so those materials are more than enough in making of this artwork. So the next part, I will show you the steps of drawing the two points perspective. Hello everybody, S3 students. So now I'm going to show you the step of drawing the two point perspective. For your task, you have to draw different shapes, uh, uh, different shapes of the rectangular box. So on your A4 paper, just like doing the one point perspective, we have to set up the horizon the horizon line, which is the eye level. So um, for two-point perspective, we have to reserve half, half of the part for the upper drawing and the, the other half is for the bottom one. So don't draw your line too high or too low. So for me, I will just draw it in the middle like this. And then this time, because it's two-point perspective, then we have to set up two different VP. So this is VP1 and this is VP2. So afterward, then just bear in mind we have one slogan in drawing the two points perspective. All the diagonal line, they will go back to the vanishing point. But for vertical line, it will always perpendicular to the ground or we call it just 90 degree to your to the ground. Okay. So first of all, I will suggest you to, to draw the straight line first. So you find a space, if this line is drawn lower than the horizon, that means the box is lower than a person's eye level. So you can imagine after drawing the box, think about whether you will see the roof or the bottom of the box, so you have to think about it. So and then afterward, then you can try to link up the diagonal line. So remember, the slogan is all the diagonal lines should go back to the VP. So you will see that now I'm trying to link up all the diagonal line to two different VP. And then afterward, we have to design the length or the width, the width of the box. So if you want it to be a longer one, so the other straight line, maybe you need to draw it a little bit far apart from the middle one. And then because it's slower than the eye level, so you know that we, can, we will look at the roof of the box here, the top part of the box. So again, this part, we won't join to VP2, so the only line that we can draw is VP1. And because this is a diagonal one, diagonal line, so it is going back to here. And then the next one. 
So to make it clear, then you will see that the box has formed it already with the top. and the top bottom line. So you can draw the box one with a correct perspective. And then if it is upper than the horizon, this time you will see the bottom part of the box. So again, you can start with a vertical line. This time it is upper than the horizon. And then again, diagonal line going back to VP. Okay, so this time I want a smaller one. So the line that I keep it a shorter distance from the middle line. And then here we got the two point to form the bottom. And because this is above the eye level, so this time we will see the bottom of the box. Okay. So after you knowing this concept and follow the, the, I will say that the slogan, then you can draw different shapes of the rectangular box in different angles with a correct perspective. And then this lesson we will end to here. Next lesson we are going to introduce you how you can extend the box into an imaginative city.